It was more than just the flames of romance for a couple who were headed to their reception party in Holland Friday evening. Their bridal party had to be evacuated on the side of 196 after their limo started smoking and then went up in flames. But as Michael Martin found out, a measly roadside limo fire could not stand in the way of their special day. Michael. Janice, Josh, Brendan, and Izzy Keel met over 10 years ago, all the way back in eighth grade. So their wedding was a long time coming, but when their limo caught fire, and it turned into a pretty massive fire, they ended up making the most of it. Definitely making some memories that will last a lifetime. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. Everybody got ready in time. No major hiccups. After dating for just over a decade, Brendan and Izzy Keel were well prepared for their wedding day Friday. And the ceremony went as expected, short, yeah. sweet, and to the point. Their ceremony at East Church in Grand Rapids went off without a hitch. And then the bridal party loaded into a stretch Hummer limousine. About half the limo ride was to be expected. Yeah. Driving and vibing on I-196, headed towards their reception venue in Holland when all of a sudden... The limo had pulled over to the side of the road and we could see some clear smoke coming from the engine. Hmm, perhaps some unfortunately timed car trouble, they thought. Then uh, it got too hot to be in there after just a couple minutes. We realized that there was no AC. So they hop out and their wedding photographer begins snapping photos and videos. And our limo driver, who was awesome, he tried to put the the fire out. With his fire extinguisher. Was very small, very small one. <laughs> And he came over and he said, somebody call 911. This is insane. Thankfully, we got down the road. Sheriff's deputies and firefighters were quickly on scene to assist. There was definitely a moment we were all like kind of just in shock with our jaws on the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Knocking the limo fire out, the first responders on scene also helped make sure the flame of romance and celebration kept on flickering. Our bridal party, they were on the side of the road taking pictures, videos, posing with the police officers, <laughs> firefighters. posing with the firefighters. They offered for, for Isabel and I to uh, actually sit in the air conditioning because she didn't have any shoes on. Yeah, I guess my shoes burnt in the fire. While they lost a handful of wallets, jackets, and such in the fire, nobody was injured, and the limo company sent another party bus to make sure they still made it to the reception. We didn't know it was taking so long, and all of a sudden, Brendan runs on the bus with a trash can that had been emptied out and it was full of the ice and all the beer that the firefighters had pulled from the coolers on there and somehow all of it was saved. Like everyone just erupted in cheers. So yeah. it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> they got to Holland and are now back at their home in Jackson, ready for life's next chapter. We walked into our reception and we were like, well, if you guys smell a burnt limo, just ignore it. <laughs> you can't let it ruin the day and it didn't. It, it right. made it yeah. that much better, honestly. Yeah. Brendan and Izzy haven't finalized any honeymoon plans just yet. They aren't sure how to top the ride of a lifetime on the best days of their lives. For now, live in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.